Sans. I tried to wipe the shit off of my ass and now it's all over my fingers. My little doo-doo I broke in half and now I have nothing to wipe my hand with and my hands are covered in shit. I'm sorry about that, bro. Sounds like it sucks. <laughs> That's because it does, Sans. Not that you'd know anything about that. You're so lazy. I bet you don't even wipe with enough force to be able to tear a doo-doo wipe, Sans. Hey, what is up, fam of cheese, and welcome back to some Undertale Yellow. If you guys remember last time, go and check it out. We fought our boy Starlo. He was a goddamn ranger. He had one of the most interesting and awesome fights I've ever seen in this entire goddamn game. I fell in love with it, uh, and I fell in love with him. <laughs> but sadly, we let, had to let him go. Uh, we're going to go see Alfie's, I do believe, if we can figure out where we are and what we're doing. You peer inside the chamber. Only a dark, deep shadow stares back. <laughs> it's Metal Sonic. It's far too dark to make anything out. So are these the weird amalgamations from before? I'm really confused. I know that we're going to probably figure it out at some point in this episode, what's going on. I hope we don't have to fight them. Because of course, it's probably going to be Soroba's daughter is just the dog. I'm almost certain. But we know that the dog survives uh, because we find it in the mainline run. Maybe the dog kills us. Maybe we are the victim of the puppers. Maybe we are the victim of the pink light. My favorite band. Or is it a song? I actually don't know. They made that awesome song with fucking Goku though. You know the one. Thumbs up Goku. Thumb up my ass Goku. Give me some real pleasure. Give me that Super Saiyan fisting session you promised me. Please. Look at this whimsical music. What the dickens? Wow, and something's already broken out. Great job. Clearly Alfie's doing another amazing job as everyone's favorite scientist. Wow. <laughs> Let's get you saved. Or maybe I'm the monster that got released. I'm friends with the monster inside of my head. That's nice. You know what, Flowey? Fuck off. The Jism Monster? Jism Monster. The shoot is clogged with strange looking plants. I know a strange looking plant. Unfortunately, he's my friend. The smell of old and washed clothes makes you feel uneasy. And kind of queasy. The door is jammed shut. What if I want to wash my clothes? I've been wearing these on the freaking range, you know? You find a stick of beef jerky inside the machine? I'll take it. I mean, I don't know whether I should. <laughs> but I will take it. <laughs> Where'd you get that beef from? It looks like shit. Whatever, Flowey. I don't listen to you. Let's go speak to Soroba. It's working! Wait, what have you been up to? <laughs> Did you just do all of this behind my back? You're so clever. Good job, Pat Pat. I wasn't actually doing anything this whole time, was I? Well, goddammit. <sighs> Alright, you're clearly capable of solving problems. I suppose I should let you lead the way from now on. Just head west from here, and we'll eventually reach Heartland eventually. <laughs> Did I say eventually twice? Don't question it. I'm clearly not the stupid one here, it's you, Dumbo. <laughs> Don't hurt my feelings. I'm only a little child, I'm a boy. Is Flower gonna speak to us? Oh damn, Flower doesn't speak. Saroba, you can stay. Whoa, this isn't Hotland. This is Pinkland. Metaton would absolutely love this place. I love the, the, the little pink hue we got going on, you know? Wow, look. Turn the power on and the whole facility goes insane. I swear to God, if you make me stand on one of these things by just stepping one tile in front and I can't move forwards, I will power drive you, you little fucking child. <laughs> Since you're the leader and all, how about you run ahead and turn this steam off? I think I see a switch over there, so no problem, right? Don't worry, I'll catch up. I'll be watching you as you suffer in pain. <laughs> well, thank you, Saroba. Very kind of you. I love how that, that is a good way to explain it so that we don't have to deal with the uh, the inevitable demise of Sorobo if she comes through this. Oh! Steam! It's floating! It's actually very easy to dodge. <laughs> I just don't pull the lever. Sorobo, you can stay over there. See? No sweat. Except for all of the sweat coming from the ground. This place is full of steam. Damn! This is my fishing spot. Sorobo, you want to fish with me? You're like, what? A fox? A cat? You probably love fishing. It's gotta be a fox. 
Damn, this game is so well animated. I gotta say, I absolutely love the style of this game. Look at this freaking pixel art. Whoever did the environment in this game, you get my hat off. Round of applause, Colin Mo. Speaking of, uh, I did actually look at the wiki because I didn't want to miss any Mo action. I do know that Mo is uh, here. My no my nose is sniffing. My Mo's nose knows, and so does mine. And when I can sniff him, <sighs> I know that smell anywhere. That's the smell of my nose blocking up. This is getting rather spooky. A very dastardly. What the hell is this? I got a cool little. This is my trophy room. <laughs> I used to come through here and help out Alfie's. Look, this is where I got my. This, this is my bachelor's. This is my master's. This is my PhD. And this is my spot that I would have got if I got a good job. But I got nothing from it. Now I'm just like, I don't know, 70k in debt? <laughs> don't go to college, kids. Excellence in engineering. I was kidding. I was actually kidding. Decency in engineering? Oh my god, you were joking me. That's, you tried in engineering. Mr. Chujin! He never told me he won an award. Probably because it was just the E for Effort award. I'm proud of him. Even if it's the one that sucks ass. <laughs> Greatness in... You can't make out the rest. Greatness in C. C sharp, my favorite coding language. <laughs> Cogs are whirring, the cogs are whirring, like my balls they're churning. For this robot, yo! Access model, Nord 14, ready to guard and protect. Intruder spotted, Steamworks, Eastern Branch. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Wait, who are you? Access model number 14, ready to guard and protect. You just said that. My vocabulary is not expansive, ma'am. Okay, well, I wasn't expecting anyone to be here. If you let us through, we'll be out of your hair. One, I do not have hair. Two, I cannot allow you to pass. You trespassed on private property. You have also utilized the machinery without permission. No, no, I didn't do that. It was this child right here. We take him to jail, please, officer. We're just heading to Heartland. We aren't malicious in the slightest. Look at us. Do we look bad to you? It was us who woke up this place. Isn't it nice to have power? Yes, but now I'm drunk with it. <laughs> While it's nice to be operational again, it is also not nice. I'm the last of my kind to police this area. You reminded me of the genocide of my brethren. All of my comrades have rusted over. I always knew I was the best, but now I am also lonely, and now I have no bitches, and it is your fault. Maybe you'd like to be my new wife. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of taken. <laughs> I will now trap you in a cold, dark room for which you might perish. My husband, Chujin, also used to work here. I have permission. Oh, I killed him. Don't make me hurt you. I'm trained in, what the fuck? In bow staff. Chujin? My creator? Huh? Where the fuck did he go? Sorry, I do not see him present. Goodbye. Wait! And that's how Undertale starts. We fell down. Welcome to the Under Underground! <laughs> Can't say I was prepared for that. I knew my husband was an engineer, but he never told me about that guy. What a dick. <laughs> Guess you know, don't fucking hate the artist. Hate the art. He'd mentioned a robotics project that could net him a promotion, but clearly not that thing. You see that trash ball he made? He stopped talking about it after he quit his job here. Ugh. I would have used force to bypass access, but I'm not sure now. He may be the last remnant of Chutin's talent. It was better than the man himself. It would be best if we could just avoid him for now. In any case, we're pretty lucky that he's the only guard bot around. <laughs> it's gonna make infiltrating very easy, unless there's only one hallway. Wait a second, I have an idea. He mentioned how he was lonely, right? Well, what if we fixed that? What if we made a lady bolt? We could use the scraps line around here to forge a companion for him. He doesn't seem all too bright after all. Maybe that's what we need to distract him. What do you think? Hell yeah, let's go for it. Great. It's the best plan I could think of. It's a pretty damn good one. 
Look around for some parts we can use. Shouldn't take many. And what are you gonna do? <laughs> Just stand there? I guess she's probably gonna put it together. Let's have a look around. See what we can find. A boombox speaker. Already made a mistake. Whoopsie. You wanna use this? Hell yeah, I do. Okay, we need three more objects. I better find some good ones then. Let's see what we can find. Maybe this? What is this? A radio? Who do you think I am, mother freaking Miley Cyrus? Can we combine them already? No, okay. A TV! A broken TV! Oh my god, we can literally just make Metaton. That's also really good though. What the fuck? Ain't no way. We can just make Metaton. We can just make Metaton. I'm pretty damn sure that we can make Metaton. Let's see what we can do. Let's try. The vent has a few loose screws. I got a few screws loose as well. Decline. Can I find anything? I don't know. Be creative. I don't want to use this no more. What if I don't want to use this? What if I don't want to use this? Another bin. <laughs> God damn it. Can I change my fucking... Oh, man. Let's see if we can change stuff. Let's try bringing stuff over real slow and see if we can change stuff. You think this will work? Yeah. Alright, two more and we can make this thing. Okay, definitely the wheel. Oh, shit. Right? Metaton has the wheel. This is a good pick. One more object. <laughs> well, we all know that more than anything, Metaton is trash. <laughs> so trash. Is this your final choice? Yeah. Okay, let's build a robot. Oh my god, what is this? Oh, this is so cool! This is so cool! Holy crap, look at this! I can rotate, scale? Oh my god! I'm going to make an absolute work of art! Let's see what we can do. Maybe this could be like a little top to the robot? I know it's a wheel, but what if it was not a wheel but an eye? Oh my god, look at my creative budding powers! Select place. It's Metaton! Okay. Can I do multiple? I can do multiple! That's so cool! <laughs> Dude, this is so cute, but also so goofy. Like, god freaking... God motherfucking damn! Dude, saying god damn now is uh, a little bit sadder every time, though, and that map pack game theory is no longer going to be on the channel. <laughs> on the channel, <laughs> our guest host, Matt Pat Game Theory, is sadly retiring, for those of you who didn't know. Bless his little con socks. He is indeed retiring. And honestly, Matt Pat deserves it, you know? That guy's been on YouTube for freaking ever, you know? He deserves some time off. A little longer than a few minutes later. Now that is a classy lady. Now let's see what we can do about the feet. What do we do about the feet? Do these look good as boots? Yes, they kind of do though. Hey yo! Oh, we can only have 12 items! God damn. I mean, what more is there to add really, when you've made perfection? Oh damn! I guess so. I call this Mechanation Metatune. Uh, I'm not sure about this design, but okay, you don't understand my art, and that's fine. Oh, it's literally just Metatone. <laughs> God fucking damn it. You're kind of creative when push comes to shove. You just made the same thing again. Who are you, Toby Fox? All due to respect to Chujin's work, but this might just full axis. I'll hold on to it for you. <laughs> After all, it fits in my giant kimono, apparently. Let's get out of here, yeah? Easier said than done. I mean, how do we get out? The door is locked. Oh, <gasps> but I can still build. We're going to rebuild. Work it better, make it harder, faster. I got a little hat on. A little hat on my hat. It's so beautiful. You don't understand. You finagle it open. Oh, well, answers my question. Wait, are we gonna have the thing on our head? At uh oh. Oh no, okay. <laughs> Guess we dropped it in the vent somewhere. Can't say that was fun. Let's just be extra cautious from now on, okay? I don't know what you mean. That was a that was a fucking blast. 
Get out of here, Soroba. That's right, Flower. You can shut your dumb fucking mouth. Oh, <gasps> and it's fighting time. What? Another robot? I thought they all died. Gee, you're too clean. Let's stain that vest. No way, we can't fight this thing. What if Juj and Bill? You know what? We'll talk later. Let's find a peaceful way around them. I do my best to provide defense for us. Don't worry about that, Soroba. I am nothing if not a defensive master. Look at this. We're gonna clean. Call me Mr. Clean. Shave my head off. Make me bald. Make me look nice and old. Mr. Clean. You offer to give the Jandroid a scrub. They seem offended. I'm not fucking dirty. How fucking dare you? I literally spend every single second of every single day working away at my fine bod. You may call yourself Mr. Clean, but you're just a fraud. You big fucking stinky motherfucker. Mr. Clean would not be stinky though. Mr. Clean would be so clean. So fresh. What the fuck is this? Ultra Instinct? Oh. Ew, soap. Jandroid finds you too hygienic. <laughs> Sounds like a you issue, buddy. Get out of here. I need to heal again. Goddamn. <laughs> that did me in. That's enough for me. Too much combat for me. I don't really understand what that was. I thought it was going to be like the um, Metaton mechanic, but it wasn't. Well, shit, that's the end of the road. <laughs> it's a dead end. It looks like we're gonna have to... <gasps> I love it. It's mentory time. The floor is... The floor is lava travelers. I'm sorry to say I have failed the game and some time ago, but... However, you do not have to interfere you across the lake. This bot doesn't seem very malicious. That's new. Kinda seems fucking weird if you ask me. In fact, I even wonder if it even is a robot. How the fuck is it in water without exploding? What is this new nanotechnology bullshit? Thank you for the t t t t t t t trust <laughs> With my help, the flow will not be lava, it'll just be flaw. Take the right jump on the manta ray, I love a manta ray. Manta rays are so cute, dude. God damn! Look at this adorable ass thing. I love manta rays have like th the weirdest faces though. They always press against the goddamn thing, and they're just like, <gasps> "That's enough to scare any child, especially mine." You didn't run into my child, did you? I swear to God, if you did some crazy ass shit, <laughs> the fucking that would be the most gruesome, horrifying death. The child is just on the end of the stingray's tail. Holy fuck! I hate you. A poster of a smiling monster with a slogan above them. Tomorrow means the surface. Damn, they even have propaganda down here, huh? What the fuck? And what is this? A furnace? Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. The current time is 626. No, it's fucking not, buddy. It's 10. Nice try, though. You may have noticed the apple trees outside the steamworks are blooming. That means spring is upon us. This time of year, my creator recommends a picnic by the river just south of here. You'll love it. It looks exactly the same as every other time of year here. How beautiful. <laughs> here we fly on the motherfucking manta ray. Oh my god, wait, what? Oh, hold on, we're finding some lore here. I've just skipped through that. Please don't pick it up. Please, please, please don't pick it up. Please don't pick it up. Please don't pick it up. Let's read through again. To King Asgore. This project, while exciting, will be quite the undertaking. We will need mining co to work overtime to provide the necessary materials. After all, they don't work at all, so overtime is just regular work for them. Furthermore, a meeting was conducted at the factory. I'm happy to report that everyone is on board. There already are many great robot ideas floating around. Cooking, cleaning, recreation, the motivation is through the roof. Unfortunately, that's not the only thing through the roof. Apparently our fucking maintenance is through the roof. We turn into Atlantis, everyone's sunk below the pink goo level. Sorry about that, King Asgore. Your lab is fucked. Though, one engineer suggested we take this further with a protection bot. I am quite unsure about the proposition, but you have the vinyl say. In any case, we will see this completed. Professor Z. 
Whoever the fuck that is. You find 60 gold in the trash? I'll nab that. A little bit of light looting, you know? <laughs> Ain't no one gonna miss it. They took it away. Why would you took away money? Quarrely, Mr. Frickin' Beast. Not Mr. Z. <laughs> it didn't even quack, man. There we go. I found the hidden pathway. This is where we literally were just here. This is no hidden pathway. <laughs> this is a maze. And I hate mazes. I'm so bad at them. She just used my buddy Ben's trick. The fucking cockroach trick, you know? Again? Well, best get on with it. Watch your step. <laughs> I'm not coming back for you again. This is the last time we meet Sir Rubber. I'm sorry. Oh, look at me walking like a goddamn badass. I don't need to stop. I don't mean to brag, I don't mean to boast, but I'm like hot butter on your breakfast toast. So break down, a skilly bebop, I break down to the rim, to the boogie, to the boogie. Shit! At least I'm good at dro uh, dodging fog, you know. Fog! Are you kidding me? I walk sideways onto the next one! Are you, you're a fool. You're a bumbling idiot, Clover. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. If you are, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Especially subscribing, that really helps out the channel. So thank you so much to everyone that has. You know, we're, we're still popping off, you know? Unlike Saroba, she has to take the slow path. Fuck. <laughs> Shit's tricky around here, you know? You did really good back there. Why did you get hit by everyone? That's so cool! Dude, the animation in this is so, so nice. I love all the wobbly shit. I like to think that Saroba, by the way, she like runs over, she sees this like all fucking like burnt, basically singed from the fucking steam vents. She's like, why would you do that? You, you, you missed the shortcut. You know there was a shortcut here, right? <laughs> Are you stupid? Take the ride? Hell yeah, we will. Take us up, buddy. Take us fucking up. That's the wrong way. Oh my god. Wait, he's here! I see! Oh, too easy. Thank you, Manta Ray, buddy. You served as well. You will now be sacrificed and eaten for lunch. There's no food down here after all. Come here! How do I do this? Is this a puzzle? What am I looking at? The hell? It's a two-person puzzle. Well, it's a robot. I just can't interact with it at all. Whatever. I guess we take the ride. Can we go sideways? We can. Maybe I need some sort of machinery. Let's see what we can find. Go for a little look around. If you want to look around. <laughs> oh. Nothing like Steamworks Boba Soup TM to fuel the engine. What? Don't act like you have never heard of it. <laughs> You're just drinking straight fucking piss water. I'm not gonna lie to you, buddy. Look how much shit is in that water. You were getting like cholera, like two seconds in. You're just done, buddy. <laughs> your life has ended. And it's your own damn fault. You didn't have to do that to yourself, you know? What the hell's down here? You know? Is this more lore? It's gotta be some goddamn secret down here. <gasps> BAM! That was a little too loud. <laughs> BAM! It's your boy, Mo. Back once again. You know we're hitting it three times. Actually, this is the fourth time we've seen Mo. Third time in action, though. And the third time is always the best one. I work in Roll of Threes. I only pay my fucking employees for three hours of the day. How did I get here? <laughs> How did you get here, Mo? I got contacts, I. Eyes all over the ground. I'm best friends with that Manta Ray. Me and him go way back. Enough chit chat though, it's business time. As you know, I'm always scouting around for the next big thing, right? Right? So I was on my way here and I spotted a bunch of glowy plants on a wall. And as I did, I just, I, you know, I, I found this paperwork and I just started reading through it. Uh, but I'm not really sure what happened after that. I just sort of sailed around for a bit and now I seem to have lost 60 gold somewhere. You haven't seen it, have you, buddy? <laughs> First thought that sprung my mind, taste them. Taste my burning hat. Doesn't it taste nice? Get that ashy taste in your mouth. It's a nice palate cleanser. And I'll tell you what, that stuff hit me like wham! <laughs> my favorite band! I'm on the edge of heaven. Best cuisine you'll ever experience, truly. Uh, you got something? 
I ain't done with the pitch yet, miss. I'm fucking flames. Stay out of my way. This is important. But, like I was saying, plants? More like pleased. <laughs> More like please. <laughs> I even molded them into recognizable food shapes for the visual appeal. That's right, anyone will buy anything. <laughs> They're craving that kale shit nowadays. Boom! And now look at that, we can roast it on the bonfire. He looks so cute, even with the hat off. I absolutely love it. Look at it, it looks like RJ from uh, Over the Hedge. Visual appeal is half the battle, I say. and I'm just fucking adorable. Oh my god! I'm getting sexy up in here. <laughs> Guess we're playing strict poker, but I like to play hard mode. Let me take off all of my clothes except for my tie. Cock right out. You can see everything on display. <laughs> I'm fucking ready. Ain't nobody gonna buy your product if it looks ugly, right? And I look far from ugly. Boom, look at that. Even bigger bonfire. But you would. I know it. Oh, Mo can always count in your business. You're dumb as fuck. You'll buy anything, won't you? <laughs> Ignore that. I don't need a bonfire anymore, I'm plenty warm. This is the hotlands after all. I you okay? Shut up, Saroba. Let him cook. <laughs> Never better. <laughs> now where's my stand? <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> no! No! Although we've come to the end of the mo. Still I can't let go It's so natural You just buy my shit I just take your money <laughs> Sorry Mo This is very sad I uh, have a few products left in my pocket <laughs> Don't go yet please You're gonna love this one It's mahogany Here's what I got Moss salad, grassy fries. We're taking all of them, Mo. Thanks, buddy. Uh, I don't actually have the money for all of them. I'm still open for business. Oh, man. I'm sorry, buddy. I don't actually have enough money for the last thing, but I want to buy you out. Oh, we have to come back for Mo. We have to come back. I'll be back, Mo. Stay right there. A little longer than a few minutes later. <laughs> sorry, that's me. You're sucking on my fucking wiener. <laughs> come on, then, Mo. Let's see you sell up and sell out. I'm still open for business. You got the moss salad. Appreciate it. Because I appreciate you. I ain't the down to earth type, but uh, thanks. You know, I've really swindled you over these past few days, haven't I? <laughs> you know, for supporting me so much. You empty my inventory every time we've crossed paths. You really are a gullible fuck, aren't you? <laughs> I've been in a... Dude. Please don't make Mo... Mo's gonna make me cry. Please, no. I've been in a bit of financial trouble, to be frank. But because of you, and a little luck, I might be able to pull that behind me. You done good, kid. Catch you later. <gasps> don't jump in, Mo! Don't jump in! I told you to go way back. Mo out! That might be one of the most legendary exits I've ever seen in my entire life. From one of my favorite characters. That was so cool. That was so heartfelt and nice. That that feels like more than anything I ever felt in the Undertale Pacifist run, you know. That was a genuine moment. We helped somebody out for real, you know. Like, that felt so good. I, I feel fulfilled, you know. My life is fulfilled. I helped out Mo. I'm a new man today. A big boy. This one's from Mo. I'm out of money. <laughs> you bloody stole all my cash. <gasps> uh oh, chase sequence. Escape convict spotted. Steamworks office branch. Oh no, ran. Go, go, we gotta run, we gotta run, gotta run, run, gotta run, gotta run, run! Halt. You're coming with me? Thanks, Aroba. <laughs> Stay here while I get the tall lady. Do not touch anything. Damn, this is looking very dull to Rooney. <laughs> a 
portable coolant dispenser. Handy. I'm gonna touch everything. This motherfucker. Have you seen my wife? <laughs> I've been here too long. Can we eat the moss? No, but we can't escape. I escaped too soon though. I wanted to check out the rest of the room. God damn it. Let me go back in. Get around, get around, I get around, I get around. So I must have failed the sequence then, I guess. I wanna go in. Enough running. Okay, let's check out the room for real this time. Yeah, shut up. A highly competitive game of chesses was played here. Awesome. Scribbles and doodles. You wish you could draw that well. I can. <laughs> Get dunked on. Is there anything else cool in here? This security station would be useful to track roaming robots. A FNAF reference. You love to see it. If there are any cameras in the Steamworks. There are. Look, I can see one there, one there, and one right there. Don't try and fool me. Is that what this pizza here? The mummified remains of an abandoned pizza party. It gets a little quirky. Not even you are brave enough to try a slice. Is this the phone guy? Hello? Wait a minute. This entire desk is just a FNAF reference, isn't it? That's so cool! Look, you got the pizza. That's Freddy Fazbear. Freddy Fazbear. Uh, you got yourself a lovely screen, a security screen. The phone guy, the fan, and a little cup. That's so cool. What's in the bin? Trash can. You're the trash can around here, bucko. Get around, get around, I get around, I get around. Shit, he's catching up. Ain't gonna stop me today though, buddy. Nice try. Who? What? Dude, how are you supposed to... Ain't nothing gonna break a mass ride. I'm running in the... Fuck you, dude, what the hell? Fuck, fuck. He's catching up, he's catching up. Don't you dare, you little fucking cock. A little longer than a few minutes later. We're ahead. We're goddamn ahead. We are G D A He O. <laughs> Hated that. <laughs> Clover, the lockers. Follow me. Man, that took you way too long. <laughs> you really are dumb, aren't you? And slow. But fortunately, this robot is even dumber. <laughs> How? How the fuck did they escape me? I was popping off at like a 50 win streak. <sighs> this guy means business. My husband was one hell of an engineer. I just wonder why he kept all this from me. He could have left me with some sort of off switch, right? This thing fucking sucks. The robot. I totally forgot our plan. <sighs> Sorry, next time we see Axis, we'll try it for sure. Damn right we will. We need some kind of plan. Oh, crawl through the vent. Where does it take us to? Somewhere close, hopefully. Imagine it backtracks us. I'm gonna cry. It did. God damn it. A little longer than a few. Let's freaking go. Whoa, look at this! Oh, okay. Found you! No, try me, buddy. Oh, you're so bad at this game. Okay, you hit me once, but that's fine, honestly. I wanted to get hit. Oh, maybe not that time. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Dude, got, he's got aimbot. Literally, dude has fucking aimbot. He's literally a robot. This is bullshit. <laughs> nice try, fuckface. Shit. No, 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 no. This game got hard. This game got hard. Never mind. <laughs> dude is shit. Look at this. <laughs> You just got absolutely debated, my friend. Get fucked. Holy shit, you just debated the fuck out of them. <laughs> you popped off. Looks like he's like, oh, I thought she was going to die then. I thought this was going to be a sacrifice scene. Mr. Piccolo! Axis, hold on a second. Can I turn you on? I mean, turn you off? <laughs> one. Uh, one million seconds. I do not have the knowledge to count that high. Wow, and you're a robot as well. Kind of embarrassing. What is this about? I have a surprise for you, a special one. I will admit you have my attention. 
With you, you buxom babe. Proceed. I have one for you, your very own robot companion. I forgot we made this thing. A slate top of the land model. Aren't they beautiful? No. Not in the mode. <laughs> Damn. An asexual king. My eyes are only set on your apprehension. Goodbye. Kabe. <laughs> You're making them cry now, Axis. Come on now. Robots cannot cry. I have tried. I live in pain. Remember, everyone is dead in my timeline. Goodbye. Well, it's worth a shot. Plan C it is. <laughs> if you could do that the entire time, then why didn't you? I am immobile. If you went without surprise, it wouldn't have had to get messy. <laughs> now nah, you're dead too. Now this fucking gross ass thing is the last robot alive. Do not mock my judgment. I will return to capture you. With new hands. When I am less dead. And cool and wiggly. Phew, I'm spent. <laughs> I didn't want attack. <laughs> one deflect, even. Next chair we see, I'm taking a breather. That's right, take the robot with us. I'm sure it's going to be very, very useful on all the other robots here that give a shit. <laughs> well, there we go. <laughs> Definitely what I need after all that madness. So, how you been? <laughs> I wonder what Starlo's up to right now. Probably some dumb hippie bullshit. Probably on some fasty fire quest with a smile on his face, and I wish I was there with him. You wanna send me back home? I wanna goddamn go back with Starlo. I do envy him. To be wrapped up in optimism and fantasy? Most might act cheerful, but life down here fucking sucks. It's hopeless. That's why they look to the king for assurance. They believe once he gets the seven souls and breaks the barrier, shit will pop off. He'll easily be able to overthrow whatever awaits us on the surface. A rather foolish outlook if you ask me. Who knows how the humans have prepared for retaliation since then. Probably got guns and shit. <laughs> like us, but you know, even more advanced. <laughs> like what the fuck is tear gas? But I should digress. We have to handle our own problems first. Like getting you human up top. I can't imagine what Canico's going through right now. That's a good point. Why don't they just use this like, as like a spy? We could tell them all about the fucking... Uh, look, I want to stay here in the underground. They could literally just use this for information. We can tell them all about the humans. Did they ever think of that? Or is Asgore just dumb? You haven't met my Canico yet, have you? Here, take a look. She's fucking dead. <laughs> oh, that's cute though. Look at that smile. Definitely her father's. Gifted like her father, too. She's a... Kid. <laughs> she didn't deserve this life. Or this death. I truly wish things could be different. But that's not what fate had planned. Would be a shame if we come across her as an abomination now, wouldn't it? I apologize for my vagueness. I prefer to keep the bad memories to myself. Anyway, the lab shouldn't be horribly far from here. We will get to the bottom of this, Clover. In the meantime, you can scout ahead. I'm going to rest for a bit longer. Bye. <laughs> we'll see you later. An old bottle with no message inside. The message is clear. Today's a sad day. Fendi model. Sink boot. Scanning customer. Oh my god. Unauthorized child. Go away. Oh yes, I will gladly dispense your garbage. Hand over. Please stop. Ain't no way. Okay, well, uh, we spent all of our money on Mo, uh, so you can get lost is what you can do, unless there's some money in here. Shit! Oh man. Whatever. What do you got to say, Flowey? Oh, nothing. Oh, bye. What is this? Oh, it's mail time. Watch it, Clover. We don't want to alert any outsiders, especially workers under Asgard, or like the UGPS. Why not? You may well have to wait. You can tell me what to fucking do. You're all the way over there. That's damn right. Stand up for yourself, king. <laughs> Please don't tell me that, Flowey. Boy, am I glad that fox lady let you roam free for a bit. Not being able to talk to my pal has been torture. We're not pals. 
Now, I know she roped you into some lab detour, but come on. Captive monsters? Talk about a conspiracy nut. <laughs> I mean, who would do that? I mean, it's not like I'm, my fucking soul is trapped within a flower, thanks to experimentation. I mean, it's like you don't want to follow my advice. Trump for 2024. Shut the fuck up, Flabby, please. <laughs> Remember your real mission, Clover. The five children you set out to find in the first place. There's no need to visit that dingy lab, you know. Asgore's still out there threatening human lives. Keep your head in the game. Zac Efron style, you kinda look like him. <laughs> this is our journey, not so robust. Fuck her. That's so mean. <laughs> hey, wait up. I think I'm ready to get back to things. Lead the way. Damn right I will. Let's forge a new path. Maybe we'll maybe even maybe we'll maybe. Maybe we'll even eat Maybe we'll even meet Alfie's. Not eat Alfie's fucking hell. <laughs> Vibe needle? We wanna To a karma record. Wait, I oh Slippy again, oh shit. That's so cool! But very easy to dodge. Slowly scratches a record with a needle. Uh, vibe. Now we vibe. Close your eyes and tap the feet to the music. Gusik joins you. This is nice. We're having a good old time. Oh my fucking god. That's so cool! It's a mono! Lost in the music. Get out of here. Don't need ya. More steam. Fantastic. One more time, Clover. You got this. Watch me. Watch me sprint. Watch me, Nene. Okay. Watch me sprint. Sprint. Watch me. Fuck. Okay. And through we are. Nice and easy. Come on over then, Sir Roba. Uh, I farted. Yo! Oh my god! This place looks so pretty. Are these. This is like grass, right? This isn't snow. So pretty though, what the fuck? Hell frickin' yeah. Holy. What happened here? Hope this stuff is okay to touch. Looks like it's covered in mold. Oh my god, what the fuck? A dried up fountain lies before you. It doesn't look remotely operational anymore. What happened to Alfie's? Isn't Alfie's down here? Various types of plants sit within several containers. The smell is unnatural. Oh. Various types of plants sit in... Yeah, yeah, see, yeah, okay. You peer into a box and find a bucket of nails. Take them? Fuck yeah. I'll use them to fire around my gun. So what is this? To the science division. Employees have reported the generator is showing more wear than ever. The engineers predict the machine won't last longer than a year from now. I need you to speed up on the testing of alternative power sources. The underground depends on it. Head office. They require that biofuel shit. The biofuel? <laughs> That's what it is. It's biofuel, biofuel shit. More tests are underway, both biological and mechanical. We don't know which direction will ultimately be the best for monster kind yet. However, the chemistry lab did have a breakthrough regarding the white plant. I'll get back to you on that once further testing has commenced. Science division. How many of these are there? Oh my fucking god, okay, there's only two more. To head office. I think we've got it. The white plants have proven to generate electricity at a fantastic rate. The only issues are that they grow four times no faster than normal flora. Oh my god, no wonder this place is overgrown. And once the power is drained, they wilt into a dark, sticky substance. Hmm. And if it's green lit, we will need a new division. Just don't black light it, whatever you do, don't put a black light on the sticky substance, <laughs> please. The plan should suffice as a temporary solution. I've heard one of our top scientists is working towards a new compound. Once made, whoops, much more time is needed to develop it properly, however. As for the proposed greenhouse development division, I have an idea. Cheaper, more efficient and trustworthy. Harder, better, faster, stronger. I'll send the blueprints slowly, shortly, sorry. I'll send the blueprints shortly. Thanks for your time and research. Head office. Fuck yeah. 
And we'll check out some more secrets next time, I think. We've been running for quite a long time, but this has been so fun. I can't believe we managed to complete my boy Mo's journey. Hopefully we see him again. I very much doubt we will. Maybe he'll be in the pacifist ending. Who knows? Maybe you have to pacify every single thing for it to be a pacifist ending. I have no freaking clue. But we've been nice to everyone so far, goddammit. And that's good enough for me. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you did. I'll catch you next time. <laughs>